Hi to Chaco. We have uh, Blade, he's going for an uh, hero. We have Happy, he's also going for the hero. Guys, where to read the patch notes? Hi, hi. Exclamation mark patch, and you get the link. There's a grunt. We have a beautiful random hero here. First random hero for Happy. Happy also building a second burrow, so he does, does a slow attack. Makes a lot of sense of Turtle Rock Cube on the creeps. There's so much creeps to creep. And look, that's Moobot. You see? Sometimes we have Moobot, sometimes we have Nightbot. Isn't that nice? Isn't that amazing? We have a Keeper here for Blade. Against Orc. We have a Crypt Lord here for Happy. But they impale first, and he impales the turtles. Look at him, he's going for this turtle. The grunt takes a bit of damage. So much damage. And there he kills the turtle. How much are you getting paid for casting this awesome game, which everyone forgot because of Dota, CSGO, etc. I get paid, you know, whatever people donate, I guess. Oh, we see trees first. And of course, subs, uh, subs and stuff. Sometimes we should have two Empiricists. This is 1.26, guys. It's still the old patch. But look at all these trees. Treants. On Halloween, I'll go as Empirious. Hope I don't shock the people too hard. We have uh, beautiful. Is he going for an expansion? Does he even know he's playing? He doesn't know against what race he's playing. He didn't scout. Right? I didn't see any scouts. Did you guys see a scout? Maybe he did have a scout. Because you see, this area has been scouted. I don't know if he scouted. Did he scout? You guys know if Blade scouted? Anyway, Blade picks up a soap mask. Such a nice super item for the keeper. Killing some ogres. He doesn't go for the aura, does he? And Tangle and Treants. So the soap mask is definitely uh, nice. These peasants here are gonna build a town hall. Meanwhile, over here, the, the Crypt Lord is healing with the healing cells. Players forces are under attack. I got on just in time for the final. Sweet. Yeah, nice timing. Nice timing. Crypt Lord, he's level 2. It's uh, Tiffis An. Meanwhile, the Keeper kills some other turtles and they're gonna meet, guys. Level 3 Keeper. I assume he has level 2 Entangled, but I'm not sure 100%. He might have level 2 Treants. This guy has Impil and level 1 uh, Armor. Expansion is going on. Does he know about the expansion? He's gonna scout it right now. He's gonna scout it, guys. Look at the scoutage here by Happy. He's gonna see it. He's gonna be like, oh, nice expansion you got there, Blade. And oh, and Tangle on this grunt. This peasant here is, takes a lot of damage. Impil hit like three footmen. It's pretty good, I guess. Uh, this grunt is dead, guys. The grunt is fighting against peasants. This one goes in the gold mine and it comes out of the gold mine. The grunt still kills it, though. And another peasant dies over there as well. So two dead peasants already. And there's an impil and he kills another one. Three dead peasants. He's going for the arcane tower. Doing so much damage against the arcane tower. Another grunt shows up. The arcane tower is going down. It's dead guys. These peasants, they were running for their lives. But oh, the clip are surrounded. But, but I mean, the footmen do so much damage to themselves because of the spikes of the Cryptlord, of course. And he's hiding behind the town hall. This peasant is trying to build the town hall. This grunt gets entangled. And the Cryptlord does TP out. This grunt here is beautiful. And Larodar, the keeper, has defended the expansion. Kinda. Kinda. And do we set a second barracks? That's my question. Do we see a second barracks? Arcane Vault. Feel like we need a second barracks to defend this expansion if he plays too greedy maybe happy can kill his expansion still if he going is going to attack with only one barracks or is he going the towers one tower attack. so far oh look at that impale had five footmen laradar with the boots by the way uh Kripper the trouble he has a speed scroll oh there's no mana for for entangle Gets away easy peasy, and the footman on their way to this expansion. Uh, how can he defend this tower? Is not up yet. He's upgrading to guard tower. He does have a TP, does he? Yeah, he does have a TP, so he could TP three grunts. Though, do you really need to TP? You can just walk home. You have boots. Yeah, no need to TP. He's just gonna walk home. Nice farm here. What a nice farm! But the the shop in trouble. This peon should be working on the shop, not on the farm. Oh, that's what he's doing with the other peasant. I feel like he should click this person, not uh, the one that was over there. But sure, it's good enough. 
the shop is gonna be repaired. Here comes the Crip Lord. They have two Crip Lord. And what is this? By the way, what, the heroes, of course, are not correct in overlay. We have an Archmage here. So, wait. Crip Lord and Archmage for Happy Keeper for Blade. There. Footman, super low hit points. The Archmage did go Water Elemental first. So, that's nice. And uh, the Keeper in a bit of trouble. Nice block here with the Crip Lord and Grunts. He does have a TP and he has a uh, Cloak of Shadows. He's invisible. The grunt went down. And what is he getting here? Bestiary mass raiders. Okay. This is uh, a pretty good choice here. Pretty good choice. But he forgot he's playing against Treants. When normally you play this game, you're not playing against Treants. Because we don't have a keeper for human. So uh, maybe the, the keeper is actually really good here for Blade. He might be able to hold the expansion with the treants and the entangle. This footman though does die. The shop isn't going to die. More peasants repairing for peasants. Is that enough? No, not enough. We have two guard towers here in the back. Keeper is beautiful. Secret pa <laughs> footage of patch 1.3. His footman. Oh, Impil hits four footman. This footman over here takes a lot of damage. He dies. The, the grunt, though, does he get the grunt? He doesn't get the grunt. But he's going for the Archmage. Can he get the Archmage? He's trying He's trying to get the Archmage. He has another entangle, actually. The Archmage is probably going to die. He, uh, he does only have a speed scroll. That's about it. So he kills the Archmage himself. The Crypt Lord just smacks him in the face. And I'm pretty sure he denied the XP there on the Keeper. Here come the Raiders, though. No ensnare yet. Does he have a snare? A uh, he probably already has a snare. Yeah, there's the snare. No pillage yet, I think, though. The keeper can he defend here? Can he defend his footman from the evil raiders that are just trying to kill his footman? Don't think so. So uh, he's in a bit of trouble. Played in a bit of trouble. The raiders can just kill everything. He's building his farm in front of his town hall. He doesn't want to lose his town hall. Problems here as well. He's building towers, but because he didn't build a second barracks. He doesn't have enough footmen to defend against the raiders. And he will never have enough footmen really to defend. To walk out of his base. So uh, what he needs to do is defend his base. With farms and towers. And you see a tower over there as well. But that does mean he's kind of stuck in his base. Well happy he can do stuff. Happy he can do stuff. Like what? Happy he can uh, go from base to base. I'm not sure if he has pillage yet. I like these buildings a lot though. Pr protecting the, uh, the keep. A town is under forces are under attack. He goes for the barracks. He's trying to kill the barracks with the raiders. Does he have pillage? He does have pillage guys. He does. He's happy he has pillage. And his barracks is going down fast. Meanwhile the keeper is going for some harass. He has a clarity. He has plenty of mana. Uh, level 2 Entangle, I believe, just kills a peasant. Just don't think you need to attack it. He's attacking it anyway. Meanwhile, over here, uh, the barracks does go down with three guard towers. We have a few footmen. Four footmen. The blacksmith is going up. And this keeper is doing a great job here. This peon is also going to die. And happy now. He realizes cannot do too much damage over here. Going back to the expansion. There's two farms. There's a barracks going back up. He can I guess he can kill the barracks again. Sure, why not? The keeper is killing peons. He's doing a good job killing peons. Yeah, with the sewing mask, he can kill so many peons. His barracks are trouble. This raider just killing a uh, go for peasant, but he does so little damage. This peasant is never going to die to a raider. Oh, this tower, this guard tower, he has one armor by the way. He's masonry level one, nice in pill. He has like three peasants. Is he going? Uh, is, he's a tier two. He could get masonry level two. He's building the arcane sanctum. Does he get a Saint Hero? Maybe not yet. This Keeper doing so much damage, killing peasants. Uh, another Impul, hitting three peasants. Now the shop is going down. Maybe he can just work his way and in and kill the towers. He's going for his farm first. This Grunt and this Raider though, they're both very low on hit points. They both die, the peasants can they repair. Not the farm, but the tower. There's no more Impuls, is there? No, no more Impuls, he ensnares a bunch of the peasants, but the Raiders... They're all dying and now we have Footman and uh, Alchemist here defending. The Alchemist, of course, for Blade. We can fix this real fast. 
the alchemist for blade and happy gg's out happy gg's out guys what a nice hero we're getting here we're getting a nice random hero here as well let's see what heroes we're gonna get paladin for happy please are there actually any stats on race heroes win loss in this tournament i don't know maybe on the wikipedia Uh, Acolyte here scouting the base. Happy sees. Hey, he played the orc. Easy, easily win for me. As long as I get a good hero. And is he gonna get a good hero? We'll see. We'll see. Panda for Blade. Blade is gonna win this game. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy win here for Blade with the uh, Panda. Cripplord. <laughs> Cripplord again for happy. He just got a Cripplord last game. Two Cripplords in a row. Let's see. The heroes, are they correct? No, I need to switch them around, right? Let me switch those around. Panda. No, yeah. Panda for blade. There. Cripplord for happy. Here comes the panda. Here comes the panda. Here's the Cripplord. Here comes the panda. Here's the crib lord. Here comes the panda. And the crib lord is coming back. The panda, of course, with breath of fire, so strong against peasants. Um, acolytes. He's uh, he's working on these acolytes. You know, with the help of a grunt. Let's see, another breath of fire on acolytes is going to be nice. There it is. Nice breath. Of oh, panda in trouble though. He has a speed school. Oh no, he impels around. Is the panda? He's in too much trouble. So much trouble. He might have to TP out or just die. Let's see what he chooses. He TPs out, but does a grunt TP with him? Is he close enough? Yeah, he's close enough, of course. St. Joe Honeybrew. He's putting more grunts. We see Blade creeping over here. The Crypt Lord is level 1. Tip fist on. More ghouls, of course. Beautiful game. Beautiful game so far. Panda killing some gnolls, this one. There's another grunt. We see a burrow going up, of course. A burrow is going up. Forces are under attack. And a panda gonna kill some uh, gnoll assassins. This gnoll assassin in the back in trouble. This gnoll assassin over here on the right side also in trouble. Meanwhile, we see uh, Happy Creeping over here with the Crip Lord. It gets a mantle of IQ. He's so much smarter. Getting some ogres. Both these heroes are not really that strong early game. I mean, Crip Lord is just not a strong peri period. Panda's gonna be strong, like once he hits level three. Is uh, is Happy just gonna continue for going ghouls against Orc with the Panda first? I feel like uh, that's not gonna go too well, right? Maybe we'll see wizards. Uh, wizards. Wyvern here for Blade. With the panda, he's not really afraid of the ghouls. Even if he ha has a few fiends, right? Haze, breath of fire, kills all the ghouls. And then your wyvern are just afraid to do whatever. But he's gonna creep over here with the grunts. Could also just go spirit walkers with the raiders or whatever. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why Happy is going so many ghouls. Lord is so close to level three. Meanwhile, Panda killing stuff. What is that? A gauntlet of ogre strength there on the floor. He's gonna kill another ogre magi. His ogre magi is going down. He is dead, guys. He's dead. And he will have to use his healing salves. Maybe one on this grunt. Maybe one on this grunt. Then he can pick up his item and healing salve on himself. Yeah, that's what he does. You know, healing salve on yourself now. Are you gonna blade? Use a healing salve on your Panda. Meanwhile, we have this attack here by Happy on the burrow. Maybe I underestimated the ghouls here. Look, and he moves his ghouls so he... This other burrow also cannot be repaired. One peon is repairing. Uh, Panda, is he level 3 yet? No, he's still level 2. No level 3, uh, no level 2 breath of fire yet. But he has... Oh, wow! Did you guys see that in pill? Three peons, three grunts, and a panda. There was breath of fire, level 1 though. Happy just killing stuff here with the ghouls now. Killing peons. Kills a peon, level 3 crypt lord. Level 2 in pill would be amazing. These ghouls pretty low hit points. One does die. We have a level 3 panda. 
The ghouls working on the peons over there. Panda in a bit of trouble because he didn't use that healing self like I told him he should have. Nice surround on the crit bird with the peon, but the crit bird actually wasn't surrounded. It was just. Uh, I fainted, faked you guys. He was not surrounded. You baited you guys. The, pit, uh, the panda buys the healing potion and uses it. These ghouls so long. Oh, one dies to the burrow. No XP gained, of course. And the pit lord, I mean, he's so aggressive. He's just going for this panda. Beautiful Nog sounds. My prey is near. And look at this fight. Panda against the pit lord. Who's uh, prey is near? We have a warden for... No, Happy got the lich and the warden is for blade. So I need to switch those around, right? Panda and the warden. No, yeah. Okay, so Happy is getting only on death heroes. The warden, she got Nova. Oh, impaled! Is the warden going to die? The next Nova in trouble. Uh, warden, where's the speed school? No, war, there's no speed school. The warden dies, but the Crypt Lord will have to TP. There's another mana for Breath of Fire, so uh, if you're not careful. Okay, there's the TP. The grunts. It's uh, nice around, but it's the Lich going to TP, yes, right? No! I thought he was close enough. I thought he was close enough. He wasn't close enough. This is dead, guys. <laughs> Uh, he is going for the Wyvern, by the way, like I was saying. This seems like... Whenever we see random players get Orc, they usually go either for uh, Mass Raiders or Mass Wyvern. They always go for the Double Beast theory, never for the Spirit Walkers. There's not a statue, there's a Lich coming back. Nice game so far. Sheep over there in the back. This this guy did so much damage to himself by attacking the spiked crib lord. This one at least. Uh, no, he's also attacking the spiked crib lord. He, he just so much damage back to this ogre. We see a black citadel. Do we see a third hero? We see a lot of statues. Again, like destroyers are not that great against a wyvern. Even happy is just playing this this matchup. With mass destroyers, I don't like it very much. There's the mass destroyers. I guess with a nice timing attack, he can kill the burrows. But the wyvern, also the destroyers with mana, they will beat the wyvern. So he has one timing attack, but I mean, happy. He probably knows what he's up to. He's probably he probably knows what he's doing. Maybe. I mean, he's playing on that. He he get he got on that heroes. Ward is still level 1, while the Lich already level 2. The Crippler with a potion of greater healing. That's a super nice item, by the way. Panda. Okay, it's a panda. Breath of Fire would be nice if you can hit the statues before they morph. That means after they morph, they will be on lower hit points. Destroyer form is almost done. And here comes the panda, guys. Here he comes. There's one destroyer. He drinks some mana. There's another destroyer. He drinks some mana. Here comes the destroyer. And can Blade survive this attack? I feel like if he can survive this, it would be nice, but uh, it's gonna be difficult. There come some bad riders. Breath of fire on the ghouls. This burrow's still alive. We have four wyvern and he splits them up beautifully. Beautiful micro there by Blade. Uh, nice and pill here on the grunts and the warden. One wyvern does go down. The destroyer is micro back with 42 hit points. Wow. This wyvern is micro back with 240 hit and one hit points. There's a better rider, but can he do something with a better rider? Can he kill something? He can get Nova. Oh, and he goes for the destroyer. But all these destroyers are still alive. This other better rider also. He wants to kill someone like this this destroyer. Oh, and he gets it. Panda now, level 4, guys. Chaco, are you close to the Tanesi goal? 300 euro for uh, Chaco Cup. We still need like 50 more euros. 50 more. Panda level 4, Warden level 1. Healing styles here on the Wyvern. So Blade survived that attack 
And now I think Blaze should be able to win this game, guys. He has Wyvern. His opponent, Happy, has Destroyers without mana, without hit points. There, and summons uh, the Slaughterhouse. He's getting a third hero, though. Maybe the third hero will put him back in the game. He Does he have the orb? He has a Lich, but no orb. He's going for the dragon. You know, it uh, makes sense. A panda for who? Who got the panda there? Happy got a panda. Okay, do we have a panda for happy or, or not? Yes, we do have a panda for happy. Okay, happy got a panda. Nice panda. Great against the wyvern. Great against the grunts. Great against everything. Except that he's level 1. Well, over here we have a level 4 panda. Getting some bad riders. At this point, don't like the bad riders too much. The bad riders make sense against the destroyers with mana because there's just nothing else that does any any better than the bad riders. The destroyers without mana, you rather just have wyvern. Uh, panda there with a the breath of fire. Hit some ghouls. Oh, panda! Is he going to die? Is the level four panda going to die? The bad rider just fight the means on the destroyer. But the panda dying is pretty bad here for uh, for blade, of course. Now he just has a warden. Warden has a greater man healing potion, by the way. Couldn't he have given that to the panda? I'm sure he could have. But why are these wyverns just chasing a destroyer? Hello. Okay, they fight another destroyer. Meanwhile, they're fighting over here as well. The grunts are dying. Uh, the wyvern come back and they kill the statue. This grunt here is also pretty low. Nice breath of fire and nova on this wyvern. I think Happy's just gonna win this game. He has the orb, by the way. Orb of corruption, so the panda can attack wyvern. This this wyvern is dead. Do we have web? Uh, we don't have web, not yet, but maybe he's gonna get a web. But Warden level 3 done now, though. He is getting web. The destroyers, they're just healing over there. Raider, all nice and stay on the fiend. Breath of Fire. Panda will come back. He will be back at some point. Frost Armor, of course, also quite beautiful here on the Panda. Is it level 2 Frost Armor? Wait, what? No, it's level 1. Why does he have plus 4 armor? Oh, because of Devotion Aura, of course. Uh, level 2 Panda now. And uh, this is uh, looking pretty bad here for Blade. Destroyers are back with a lot of hit points. Another destroyer also on his way back. Oh, Impale on the peasants. We the fire. The burrow goes down. Blade, how is he gonna make a comeback here? How is he gonna make this comeback? I don't see it. <laughs> he's going for another burrow. No, he's not. The warden. Level 3 warden. Maybe she can do something. Some magic. GG. Maybe not. GG, guys. Wisps are pretty good. You know, they can go into trees. They can go into gold mines. They can go anywhere, really. In a lot of different places. Here we'll get some more acolytes. The six acolytes is going to be scouting acolyte. There's two more relics going up. This acolyte, where is it? Here it is, guys. This acolyte is scouting around. It's going to the bottom left. We have a sheep over there. <laughs> Walks past the sheep. This acolyte walks past the past the piggy, and he will go to the bottom left. Mimo, what do we have over here? We have a hero. He can creep here. This creep camp with the angel of war and an archer, and here we have a hero and maybe a ghoul. Nice start. Nice start so far. Nice start, guys. This acolyte just just scouting around. Around the map. Go, go, Paladin. Go, go, Paladin power. Do, 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 do. The archer wakes up the creeps and uh, the wisp wants a forest or shadow priest. And what do we get here? Crypt <laughs> How many Cryptlers are we gonna see today? Of course, not for Blade. For, uh, of course, for Blade. And a Dreadlord. Was I right or was I right? A Dreadlord for Happy. I bet he's gonna get a Death Knight second. He gets all the undead heroes when he plays undead. Blade, though, with the Cryptlord. Oh, the acolyte kills a sheep. 
and he summons a beetle <laughs> from the sheep. So uh, very nice. He picked beetles probably after he saw the acolyte kill the sheep, and he's like, okay, I don't want the death knight to get dreadlord. I mean, or whatever hero we got for happy to get uh, free skeletons. This way he has to kill his own acolyte if he wants a body. Then I'm gonna use these bodies for uh, beetles. So smart here. So smart here for the Crypt Lord. It's two beetles now. Two beetles. So many archers as well. Two archers and a first of Shadow Priest. This Wisps. Uh, nice one detonates. Crypt Lord attacks a ghoul. Three ghouls here and a Dreadlord. Is he getting more archers, by the way? He's getting more archers. He's getting so many archers. It's so good, good with the Crypt Lord, with the Beatles, and then having archers. He comes to the Dreadlord again. Does he have sleep? I'm, I'm pretty sure he has sleep, right? Did he cast sleep already? 250 mana? He probably already casted the sleep. I probably even talked about it, but I forgot already. Because we have this uh, Crypt Lord, and he's Please just... He has wings and stuff. He is so beautiful. Uh, he has one beetle here. Where did the other beetle go? Did it scout? Is it scouting or something? Don't know. Oh, there it is. Town is under siege. Town is under siege by a skeleton. The skeleton, though, is now under siege by the Crypt Lord. This skeleton is so long hit points. The skeleton now down to 24. He kills the skeleton. Nice job, Crypt Lord. 12 XP. Look at that. 24 in total. He got two skeleton skills already. I mean, we'll see Happy creeping this with his ghouls and skeletons. And Blade gonna creep this with the beetles, with the archers, with the ancient warrior. Dreadlord even helping. Helping out a little bit. Oh, Caravan Swarm. That's what he has. I didn't even see the last time he casted that spell. Maybe you guys realized. He's level 2 now. We see more carrion swarms. There is not a carrion swarm. There's an archer. She's dying to skeletons. She does die. This guy's dispelled the skeletons, but a bit too late. The archer's already dead. He, uh, he had mana for one more carrion swarm in the moment, but the rock column is magic immune, of course. Uh, Dreadlord in trouble. Dreadlord in trouble, guys. The Kipro got the last hit, and Dreadlord has to TP out. He did get the item, by the way. Nice info potion. And this ghoul also TPs with the Dreadlord. The Kriplord is level 2 now. And the Dreadlord here in his base. Going to the graveyard. Giving the graveyard a nice high five. And he's okay, going for his spirit tower. Nice play so far by Happy. Chuckle class tonight. I almost forgot. My orc is gonna be Goku pretty soon. That's right. That's right. Hydro Chuckle Glass. I'm hyped for it. I'm so hyped, guys. Hydro Chuckle Glass is gonna be amazing. Hello, little ghoul. The Crypt Lord, does he pick up the Gloss of Haste or does he not need it? Maybe he doesn't need it. It's a pretty good uh, item, but... Or maybe he does need it. He picks up the Gloss of Haste. Nice job. Meanwhile, the Beatles and the Archers just getting some more nulls. This cool here is also dead. Ah! Level 3 Crypt Lord. Does he go for level 2 Beetles? Yes, there's a level 2 Beetle. Look at this Beetle, guys. It's a carrion Beetle. It's like a big doggy. He's like, these are the little puppies. And this like a, a full and blown big dog. It's actually a Beetle, but if we could compare them to dogs. Why don't they have health bars? Oh, because we're zoomed in too much? This one also doesn't have a health bar. And now he has a health bar. Okay. Oh, Beetles dying and stuff. It sounds so sad. Meanwhile, over here, the skeleton scouting. The Dreadlord. Oh, look at this, guys. We have a TC second here for Happy. Yeah, he's going for the full auras, of course. He's going probably for Ghoul Frenzy with Endurance Aura, with Vampiric Aura. This is so strong. This is like the best hero combination I've ever seen. Happy crap this, by the way. Dreadlord is level 3 now. Just like the Crypt Lord. Crypt Lord almost level 4. By the way, one of those heroes. Is that the second Crypt Lord? Second clip lord is of course for blade. It's swimming, the beetle. 
All Archer dies to the Shockwave Carrion Swarm. That's also a very good combination. Shockwave Carrion Swarm. So much AoE. So many good auras. This is looking great for Happy. What's this double Crypt Lord going to do? It's going to... Uh, this one probably has Impale. A town is under siege. A town is under siege. Here come the ghouls. He's going for double slaughterhouse. Okay, maybe he's not going for ghoul cool frenzy. Maybe he's going for abominations instead. First few destroyers to deal with the bears. If you will see bears. Oh. Arak Aram is level four. Tavis Ra is level one. We have so many beetles. So many beetles. So many beetles. The TC over here is killing stuff. He was level 3 as well. It gets a nice top of strength. Let's see if the first one. Oh, screws bone chimes. What a useless item when you have a dreadlord. Uh, he sells it. He does have a TP now. Did he just buy this or did he have a TP already? He got a potion of greater healing. No, he just bought this. He just bought the TP. Very smart. And this statue sees the dryads. Is he going for the item and TP out? He's going for it. He sees the dryads coming, but he's like, I want this item. I want the pendant of mana. Or whatever it's gonna be. Maybe another item, but he wants a pendant of mana. He wants XP as well. This creepjack is uh you know gonna come a little bit too late. I mean there's a there's what is this? Ring protection plus four, that's not very good. This is a ghoul, it does get the XP. The beetle dies to the Ogre Magi. <laughs> And uh, this Ogre Magic now going to die. The second clip word also shows up. They both have spikes now. They both have spikes. This one has a field of accuracy. Pretty good here. Accuracy for these drives and these four solo trolls. Is he going bears, by the way? Do we see bears? We see dispels. We see more drives. Okay, we see drives and dispel. Here we see Ghoul Frenzy with meat wagons. Okay, he's going meat wagons and he's going destroyers and he's going disease cloud. He's going a lot of different stuff. Happy here with the strategy. This is uh, level 2. Dreadlord level 3. <laughs> First of Shadow Priest takes a bit of damage for the Ogre Warrior. But the Ogre Warrior goes down with Tome of Jinty here on the floor. Another Ogre Warrior is dead. This Ogre Magi here just attacking Beetles. He is going down as well here in a moment. He dies. Ring of Protection for the Crypt Lord. You know, this other Crypt Lord just, you know, buying healing scrolls. That's fine. This crypt is now level 3, so I assume we have level 2 in pill. This one has beetles. So, pretty nice, you know, block, blockage, road, how to go the wall. The wall of blade can stop the ghouls, but of course the wall will die to the shockwave and the carrion swarm. Especially the beetles, they will die so fast. This uh, rock bottom does go down, white raw, uh, not white raw, damage <laughs> raw. Picks up the boots of Quata last. I'm not sure which feet he puts them on because he has so many foots. Oh, feet. There's a sapper. But there's so much defense here. Can the sapper do even anything? He can I do something? Maybe if Happy doesn't notice there's a sapper. Maybe Blade gets lucky. And sapper. Oh, here he goes. Rejuvenation on the sapper. That's not fair. How, this, how is this fair? That's not fair. Okay, use it on a slaughterhouse. Sure. There goes a the dryad. This dryad here. Is she going to die? Staff that. Only one dry died. Okay, let's all oh, look at the impel. We have a, a bear as well. There's a carrying swarm. There's a shockwave. Everything that takes damage from uh, magic is just dying so fast. The drives, of course, they're also dying. Does he does have a heal school. I thought he had a heal school. He has a heal school. Lose an archer and a first or shadow priest. And, uh, you know, he's going for some ghouls. Kills a ghoul. Why draw? The therapist, or I mean. Take some healing. He used the heal scroll. But just the shockwaves and the carrying swarm, they do so much damage. Ah, and uh, Blade doesn't have much left. Even though the supply is pretty even. TP's out, but another carrying swarm kills two units. And there he TP's out. Dreadlord level 4, he has the orb. TC level 3. Together they st stand strong. Of course, he has level 2 for Aura. This abomination. 
you know, thanks to the endurance aura, he moves so fast, right? So he, he can find the opponent in a matter of seconds. Thanks to Vampiric Aura, he gets health back, right? Whenever he attacks, so he's like unkillable. Thanks to uh, Endurance Aura, he also attacks faster. So he moves faster, he finds the opponent faster, so he does more damage. He attacks faster, so he does more damage. And all of that translates into more health. Thanks to Vampiric Aura. So in other words, this Abomination is unkillable. Has one armor, no attack. These bears, I mean, these bears are... A player's forces are under attack. Uh, do you not have any drives left? Oh, there they are. Zero, zero. The bears are zero, zero. This Cryptlord is almost level five, though. That is, might make a difference. This Dreadlord also almost level five. This, this TC almost level four. But this level five Cryptlord. Do we see level three beetles? Level three beetles. Are you kidding me? Level five Cryptlord. Someone's saying chimps. Do we see chimps? We see an Ancient of Wind. No chimps. And he, he's summoning level 3 beetles, guys. Uh, but this bear is in trouble. Arr, he's now bear from bear. The orb of corruption is insanely strong, of course. He was about to impale, but, but he changed his mind. Arr. Level 5 Crypt Lord, level 3 Crypt Lord. Here we have a double Chimera Roost. And uh, yeah, Blade, 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 Blade. He's gonna be able to defend here. 49 supply against 58. We have Meat Wagons in the back. We have Carrion Swarms and Shockwaves. And we have level 2 uh, Auras. Both of them are level 2. So these, bear, uh, these Abominations are super duper strong. But not if they're stunned. These bears, they cannot get. What are they doing even? They're just, you know, taking damage and not attacking. The Crypt Lords here, they retreat as well. Nice Carrion Swarm. This bear could form into a human and then rejuvenate himself. That would be a smart play here by Blade. Nice Impel hits two Abominations and a Dreadlord. The Abominations are now 1-1. Shockwave kills the bear. Carrion Swarm does a lot of damage to bears. The Aces War is on his way back to defend. This bear here is also very low on hit points. He dies to the destroyer with two destroyers and another Shockwave. Abominations are pretty hard to Blade kill. And they just, I mean, they get so much life back with every attack as well, so they're just, just unkillable. Uh, he goes for the, he sees the Ancient of War that's coming up, sneaking up to him for a flank attack, but he kills the Ancient of War. And uh, that is, the flank attack is uh, gone. Level 5 Dreadlord now, level 3 Carrion Swarm. So powerful, of course. And this looks pretty bad here for Blade. Can I get some uh, Chimeras? Oh, he's building Chimeras. The Chimeras are great against Meat Dragons, great against tanks. I mean, uh, abominations. Great against statues. And we have an orb of venom now. But this pit lord, oh, is he going to die? It's not a pit lord, it's a crypt lord. Oh, he drinks mm, juice or something. Just before he got carrion swarmed to death. And soon it will be just played with two heroes and two chimeras. Or one chimera at first. Losing more moon walls. Abomination doing so much damage here. And what do we see here? Nothing. Okay, expansion. For happy, he's pretty happy because he's gonna win this Atlas Cup for the six. Very likely, it's not over yet. You know what can we say? Can we say it's over yet? No, we can't. Be because here's the Chimera. Here he is. Of course, the Dreadlord can just kill the Chimera, but and we have a Hippo as well. Hippo and a Chimera. The Chimera is working on this Abomination, and there's a even a spell uh, Carrier Swarm used. Chimera is dead, guys. This Hippo is also dead. And now it's just two heroes to kill. And uh, there it is. GG. Congratulations to Happy for winning Endless Cup 46. 2 to 1. He's the best player uh, today in this cup. He is so amazing, guys. So amazing.